What is up, Flock? Thanks for here, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 Mod Spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods to give you guys my thoughts and opinions, and leave them linked down in the description down below so you too can go download them if you're interest, interested. Interested. <laughs> interested. Remix. Um, so, for those of you who are looking forward to part two of the Carnival Rides, I apologize. That save game got corrupted because I decided to. <laughs> Save. Uh, well, I decided to test mods out for the server, and well, I I broke it, uh, and I can't get it to load. So I actually had all the rides from last week set up, with the exception of two that were missing some stuff. Um, so I wanted to redo that, but I don't have time to do it tonight. Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't have time to do that tonight, so I will. Throughout sometime this week, probably by the time this video goes live, I already have it uh, set up for next week. And then I'll finish up uh, those, hopefully. I don't know if we'll even get into part two. It might take three parts to finish that. But anyway, today I figured I'd do something uh, a little bit simpler. Today we're going to be checking out, uh, I think, actually, it's three mods. It could be four. Um, two truck mods and then a bed mod. So, uh... AJ Deer, uh, I think it's, it's AJ Deer T680. Actually, uh, I don't know where else he released it. Uh, it's not on Mata. It, I think it got leaked to Mata. Um, but he actually released this pack in the, my Discord, uh, along with probably some other places, um, which is it's twofold. It's an update to the Kenworth pack that we've been using, the Kenworth vocational pack that has like every. Uh, modern version of uh, Kenworth, the T800, the W900, and then it has the W, I think this one does both, uh, 880 and 990, I believe. So, it does all of those and then some. Uh, so, this is, the Kenworth pack was updated to be the pack car vocational pack, which now includes Peterbilt's. So, this is just, <laughs> this is like a third of the v the trucks that are available. Um, each one has like three different variants with, with horns. Um, one has no horns. One has uh, multiple horns. The other one has uh, a low tone horn. So each one of these has another version, two at least two other versions, I believe. One or two other versions. I just spawned the one then just to get them all through here. So we're not going to go... We're not going to go through all the Kenworths. They have been updated to, uh, in the interior, the gauges work, um, the shifter works, the horn cord, as you can see, the horn cord moving in the windshield. It moves. Um, a, lot of, a lot of updates to these things. Um, but I'm, unfortunately, not able to show you guys the interior um, because... AJ does not particularly care for a couple of YouTubers and he left some naughty words inside <laughs> the cab. So I'm not going to go inside the cab to show any of these. I know uh, some people want to see the interiors and I guess I could do like one of these where I just kind of like show you they do have interiors and pretty well detailed interiors. I just can't go in cab and show you uh, actually, I think this one I can because this one, uh, AJ, if you're watching, missed out on the treatment the other ones did. Um, but as you can see, it returns on. It, the gauges are all working. The shifter works. And now only on the Peterbilt's. The Peterbilt's have, uh, if you hit X, it the uh, air brake. You can see the air brake pull and it makes the sound. On these, it does not. I don't know if that's a plan update or not. Um, but yeah, so I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a bit a little salty here because uh, the T800 and the W900 are my favorites, and the T880 is Tyler's favorite. Uh, and uh, well, he got he didn't get the treatment, so uh, I want the same treatment for Tyler that I got. AJ, just saying. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Anyway, moving on. Uh, in this pack, he also included a C... 
500, which I believe was part of the T800. Or maybe it was the W900 pack last time. So that's a new standalone truck. Pretty nice. So we're only focused on the Peterbilt today because those are the new shiny toys. So we're going to check those out. I hope that did not show the interior. So I got. Wait, this one missed it too? Huh, sweet. That one definitely did not. But uh, here we go. Ready? Watch. Watch right in this area. Oh. Let's do it. Never mind. Uh, it's only on the three or the three series, not the five series. We're gonna do a few trucks though, real quick. Uh, oh, that well, that probably showed it. If I don't ban it, or if I don't ban it, if I don't block it out. All right, wheel brand. You have all the wheels set up, just like the Kenworth, uh, the International, the Western Star. You have. All the different rim options, all that. Uh, you have all the chassis length options, which could. Ooh. I kind of like that. Let's do that. But you have all the chassis op options for all the different beds that he's put out. So you got a ton of steps. Do some tanks on the back here. Uh, hood, you have the 5, 6, 7, set forward axle, set back axle. I think I like the back set, but yeah, I like that better. I do like that better. Um, paint, chrome, let's keep them paint, window trim, sure, beacons. If I, only I can convince him to do like the full light bars instead of these two little light bar shrubs. That'd be great. Uh, attachers, semi, yep, roof. We have, I think this has, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, and that and paintable fenders. I want, I want to be able to put these and paint these the color of my fenders. If you're listening, AJ, if you plan on doing an update, make those painful. I'd be so happy. Anyway, um, whisper sweet nothing is in his ear. Uh, exhaust, single stack. Uh, we want duels. Ooh, those look really good on this, actually. I'm going to go with that. Bumper one, bumper two, three, full bar. Magnum Boulevard. Ooh, I think I like that. I don't know. Yeah, let's just go with uh, let's just go with one. I like that best. Headlights, Aeropods, dual squares, squares, Aeropods two. Aeropods. What's the difference? I'm not hundred percent certain. Let's we'll go with the regular ones. Fifth wheel ramps, no. PP corner, we have space for PP corner stuff. Um, steps, I like toolboxes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, bumper accessories, I kind of like. Ooh, I kind of like those. Yeah, let's do those. I guess we should go through all the options, shouldn't we? Yeah, I like those. Are the Peterbilt ones? There we go. Steering wheel standard. Got three options there. Sun visors. Two options. We'll do custom air cleaner accessories. I guess we'll do one. Uh, bug shield. You know I like my bug shields. Uh, racks. We have all kinds of different racks here. Goodness. All right. Um. Side lights. One thing I do want to point out that he did do on the Kenworth an update, which was uh, something that bugged me, was he actually extended the uh, lights all the way down the side of the cab or the sleeper instead of just underneath the door. They do go all the way underneath the sleeper now. Love it. Love it. Mirror light. We only want those. Kick plate plane. Antennas up. Rear cab lights. Both. Yep. Hood mirrors. Yes, sir. 
You know, I like my hood mirrors. Um, bumper guides. Sure. I like chrome trim, not on all hoods. Nah, door chrome trim. Ooh, I do like, I do like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's nice. I like that little, little doohiggy. Front toolbox flaps. I usually always put the both on. Numbers, company logos. You guys seen all that? Let's do. Ooh. I feel like. Does this have a? Did I miss that? Fender color or top or roof? I don't see it. So maybe there isn't a roof option on this. If I missed it, feel free to let me know. We're just gonna make the whole thing teal, though. There we go. We can keep the tanks the same color. There we go. Customize. There we go. And we are safe. This thing's pretty beefy. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I don't know if I like it enough to replace one of my trucks in the server. We just let's just get the end game flatbed. Just to make sure it hooks. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. All the lights light up. This thing looks really, really nice, actually. Like, I'm half tempted to build one of these in the server, because that is that's pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Claude, you gotta love my... My, uh... I don't know. Words. Something. Anyway, let's move on to the 3 Series, and then we'll rate the whole pack as one. I'm gonna customize this one real quick. Uh, standard, you know, we'll put the triaxle on this one. Why not? Standard lift. We'll do standard. Do, we did a flat top on the last one, right? So we'll do the high roof sleeper on this one. We want boxes on there, front rear, uh, we want tanks on that. So here comes the hood. We have SF.65677857, aka the Sano hood. I don't know what that is, but uh, we have well, eight, whatever that is. We have the 367. Not bad. The 367 high hood. Interesting. The 367 FPTO. I don't know what that means. We have the 389 or 388 389 short hood. The 389 379. The 386 and 377. We're going to go with the 379. If if that wasn't obvious. Air cleaners, yes. I want the paintable strip. I don't want the whole thing paintable. We have post-2007, pre-2007 grill. We'll do post-2007. Beacons, we're not worried about. Put semi-attacher, roof lights. We'll do the five bullets. Rear fenders. Uh... I guess we'll 
as much as I don't, I don't like those. I guess we'll do this. It's better than nothing. Uh, exhaust. I gotta do some miter cuts on these. There we go. Bumper one, bumper two, three. I'm just kind of a sucker for bumper two. Yeah. Aeropods, dual, we'll do dual squares, LED. Actually, we'll do non LED. Roof, cab match, we want fender match. Yeah. Oh, this looks like the truck I made for, uh, for Brandon 17. Mirrors, classic, or air, we want classic. No ramps, pee pee corner. Put toolboxes there. Yeah, bumper accessories. Mm. I guess we'll go none. Steering wheel standard, sun visor. Uh, we'll do drop, air cleaner accessories. Uh, we'll do two, bug shield, yep. Uh, we won't bother our rack, it's got all the same rack. Side lights, again, all the way down the side. Mirror lights, we'll do that. Um, rear cab lights both. I don't know what these spotlights are, but I guess we'll try those out, see what those are all about. Hood mirrors, yes. You even got the plow mirrors on it. That's pretty nice. Bumper guides. No, we'll skip that on that one. Air horns, dual. You can have door one. I don't want the window chrome. Always put flaps on both. And we'll leave company logo alone. What if we do, like, white and then do... We'll do that. Old Town Green. There we go. Looks nice. Uh, tanks. We'll do the Old Town Green Metallic. Same with the breathers. Ha oh, ha. Yeah, filler. That was good. Alright, customize. Yes. Now, I can definitely not show you the interior on this one. I can show you all the lights light up. Handles fairly smoothly. Smoo smoothie? Yeah. Handles very smoothly. You can hear the sound. It makes. I can't get the axle to go up though. Maybe it's just me. Out. Just connect this. I'm actually like shocked at how good this thing looks. <laughs> just like it is. Alright, let's just slide this on over. So the pack overall, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. It is a beautiful pack. I mean, look at all the freaking options you get. Just so many, so many freaking trucks narrowed down to one pack. It's, it's mind-boggling. The only problem I see, other than not being able to look in cab, is I can't get this thing to go up and down. Uh, if anyone knows... If anyone knows, uh what's going on there. I've tried both mouse buttons and it doesn't work. The I mean, you could see the hitch go up and down, but these aren't actually going down. So if you know how, please tell me. But the the pack car pack will get a 5 out of 5. Now, we're not going to go through all of these here. We'd be here literally all day. Um, so this pack is all, one again, one mod uh, that's available on the mod hub. 
and we're just gonna we're gonna pick one or maybe two to customize so uh, this one uh, looks like a like something you'd see on front of a box truck around here so I got the box truck from the detachable bodies to try on it uh, and then I decided my um, trash company comes out to my apartment complex is GFL uh, I don't know if BFI is on these I would love to do like a BFI that's what I remember from my childhood but out here we have those like lime green GFL trucks and they're Peterbilt I believe I don't there's not a Peterbilt in one of these so of course you know my the, the truck that I I know uh, doesn't come up here so I just googled GFL and found a picture and we're just gonna try to build that um, it looks like this might be the closest No. Maybe this one. Not really. These, these are not. None of these are max. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna wing it and go by. Uh, this being the closest, probably. So we'll do this one. Customize it up and Try to get as close to this truck as possible Customize all right aluminum I think somebody missed a It's probably the room that doesn't show up is probably the room I need Uh, so we'll, I guess we'll just go with aluminum one and it is, this one kind of looks like, I guess we'll go with this one. Kind of looks like that, I guess. Design, waste management, Republic. Fans to pull. Oh, so this one doesn't even have GFI. <laughs> okay, hold on. Because I, I was fooling around with one and it had GFI on the truck. Which I think it was this one I was fooling around with. We'll see. Real quick. This one actually might be closer to... The one I'm looking at. Alright. So does this one have the same wheel pro it does, unfortunately. Hopefully there's an update to this, because I wouldn't mind having we'll do standard tandem design. Oh, high visibility. No. This one has like shorter windows, so we'll do that. Uh design. Oh wait. Logo. There we go. GFL. Design standard chrome. I oh, was got black. Design MR. LNG MR. Oh, that's it right there. The MRU Terra Pro. Th that's exactly what I'm looking at. Boom. That is on point. Paint. Oh, they're chrome. Design standard LED. Sure, we'll go with LED. Design black. No, it's black. That design one. That's chrome. That is like spot on. Uh. MRU style, MR style, what would we go with MRU, so that's what we'll do, here, I don't think that, no, it's not limey enough, we need, we need lime lime, that's probably going to be the best we got to work with, 
and then we'll keep the rim color the same. All right. So here's our truck. Now we have to go find what is the best. These two were the were the closest that I could find. I'm not sure what the difference is in them. They look about the same. Okay, this one has like that. This, okay, so this would be the closer of the two to this picture. So that's the one we're gonna go with. Hopefully it fits. And we're going to see if we can dog her up a little bit. Now the bed I was fooling around with earlier didn't have the GFL logo on it. It'll be standard WM1, WM2, WM3. Standard for fuel only. Wait. Is that the same? It kind of looks like the same logo. Is that the same? Because it comes off the L like that. Oh, it says GFL right there. Alright, so I guess we'll go with Mat Mat Trek. And then we'll do that same green. I don't know what that changes. I'll just keep that green. Customize. Okay. Turn on semi trip attacher. Turn off. What's it do? It might help if I had sounds. Oh, is that the backup sound? How come this doesn't have any engine sounds? Make those the same color. Okay, it does doesn't look like it. All right. If you have all the lights. We have blinkers, we have blinkers. Does the bed have blinkers? It does. Nice. What about beacons? No beacons? Skip 74. Ah, oh, no interior. Okay. So we did a pretty good job of, of matching it. I will say I'll give the the. Uh, oh wait, we have we want to test one more real quick. None of these have engine sounds. That's weird. All right, I want to test this though with. This. This might look a bit goofy, but hang with me here. Oh, 
Actually, it doesn't look that goofy at all. Single axle, so we'll try that. Design Toronto. Oh, actual, okay. GMC Azuzu Chevy. We'll do GMC. And we'll make this white. Customize. Right. Can I not modify this? Head. Oh, it's outside. Uh, let's see if we put it in here like so. No? What if I attach to the truck? That doesn't look right at all. doesn't work like I wanted it to but you get you get the you get what I was going for it just looks like a something you see on the front of a box truck all right so the this truck pack I don't even know what to call it um I'm gonna give it a three out of five I'm gonna give it three out of five because there's no engine sounds to any of them I, I mean I don't get why um, I would, um, ah, every trash truck I've heard has engine sounds, so, uh, it's a bit of a bummer. Oh, this one has an interior. <gasps> mm, excuse me. I would love to see them get, all get interiors. Uh, looks like this one might have an interior as well. Yeah, even if it's just a basic interior, that would be nice. Um, I love to see them get engine sounds. I'd love to see them get beacons because all of the are like uh, LEDs, especially on the bed, because all of them around here have uh, have LEDs, especially on the bed when they're out and about doing their thing. So that'd been a cool addition. But um, the trucks will give a three out of five because of the the engine sounds and um you know like the the rims missing and i even think some of the rims were discolored like the the hubs were like white like they're missing textures uh so for that give them give them the three out of five the truck the the actual bed pack i guess we'll give a five out of five because they everything does work on them um i just kind of wish they were they had those beacons that'd be really cool and uh they all had the gfi or gfi gfl logo on the side that'd be cool anyway that's gonna do it for me for today guys if you guys did enjoy today's video be sure to leave a like down below it does help me out so very, very much and i do appreciate it so very, very much if you guys do want to see future farming simulator 22 months by least be sure to click that subscribe button if you guys want to know if i whenever do go live or upload a video click that notification bell as always guys thank you so very, very much for watching we'll see you guys next time nice.